talk about this because I'm I'm interested as to why this brand decided to go in such a crazy different direction considering how good the other stuff was so this is courtesy of Hi hype beast and it features no vacancy in makes a comeback with a born cancelled collection first of all i don't understand the term born cancelled and i don't see how that would relate to no vacancy in if you're familiar with no vacancy and you know that one half of no vacancy is tremaine um, e um emery sorry who's obviously now the creative director of supreme and has denim tears and for me from what i understand no vacancy in to be it was kind of like a it was kind of like a you know for lack of a better term like a hotel merch brand that wasn't really much a hotel it was kind of like a it kind of traveled around the world right like like they were kind of they had no home hence the no vacancy in type of thing right you were kind of going all these different places um posted up meeting all these cool and interesting people um maybe they're in cool places maybe they weren't in cool places but you're taking inspiration from all these different um scenarios and scenes and whatnot and feeding them back into the clothes but a lot of it i thought was quite opulent a lot of it i thought was quite cozy was very relaxed um didn't take itself too seriously was easy going and just had a vibe of somebody that kind of knew what's up and kind of you know um didn't really want to show and be too showy too much which is why when i see this instantly it made me just think of very derivative streetwear stuff on the screen we have a couple of varsity jackets um some what you call it i forgot what you call them some combat pants with the bondage kind of tie up where you can kind of adjust the size of how baggy they are based on the zip on the back um without the bondage straps and some sweats and whatnot and i guess they post up outside of a school somewhere i think it looks like and it just looks like a kind of stereotypical you know streetwear brand collection lookbook thing nothing really amazing and the reason why I say this is quite a departure and maybe really bad compared to what they did previously, because if you check the no vacancy in, um, if I check this now on Google, I'm typing, please bear with me. I type like, a, <laughs> not going to say that because I don't want to get cancelled. Uh, it's here. I think it was a Stussy. They did a collaboration with Stuart, if I don't, if I'm not remembering this correctly. And it had, if I'm not mistaken, ASAP Nast on the lookbook, if I'm not mistaken, also. Let's see if it loads up. There we go. Yeah, I knew I remembered it. So, No Baker Scene had this collaboration they did with Stussy. Now, again, I guess collaborating with Stussy, it's far easier to produce stuff of this standard because they have all the production, manufacturing, um, clothing expertise to kind of get this stuff done on the cheap, to get it done, to quick turnaround, and blah, 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 blah. blah. I understand. But, there's no denying this stuff here that you're seeing on the screen that features ASAP Nas wearing a, is that like a corduroy double-breasted jacket suit? Or is that a suede or velvet? I'm not too sure. One of them. It's either velvet, suede, corduroy or something. But it's a really well-done double-breasted suit that he's wearing with the logo on the outside, the tag on the outside of the sleeve there looks pretty sick rolling around somewhere and going to a private members club with one of these on your sleeve drinking a flipping negroni at the bar would actually be a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a stunt i'm not gonna lie so you've got this really nice um double-breasted suit you've got a really nice overcoat type vibe going on there maybe the logos are a bit excessive on the back with no vacancy on the back with the hoodie and the pants with the no vacancy on it but this feels a lot more um you know familiar and maybe similar to what you would expect people from that group or from that you know collective of people to be wearing and to be into this makes a lot more sense and to be honest this would be something that maybe you would um connect with a little bit better if you were a prospective uh, buyer of maybe the stuff that they put out there right it's all easy it's all cozy it's all very culturally relevant it's all very aspirational bloody blah, blah 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 but then when you go back to this collection that they put out called born cancelled it's incredibly crap like on another level of rubbish um it's very derivative um it's very forgettable it doesn't really say anything interesting doesn't really offer up anything interesting and if anything this diversion from what they did previously maybe shows that maybe the stussy collab was based in source because they handed it over to the people at stussy who were doing it and the stuff that they're doing on their own is basically them doing it on their own and they've got no real source behind it. Do you know what I mean? This might be part of the reason for it. And don't get me wrong. I have my own personal um, ill feelings towards one of the members of this group that maybe I might be tainting and slighting my oppression of the clothing. But to be completely objective and to kind of remove myself from this, this is not good. 
in the slightest. It's really, really bad, actually. And I'd go as far as saying this might be a waste of fabric. This might be actually contributing to global warming now at the moment. This might be, in, this it might end up choking a turtle somewhere, you know, on some bay somewhere. Do you know what I mean? This might be causing some um, damage that we might not be seeing for generations and generations to come. Come on, man. In 2022, you've got parental advisory flips on t-shirts. Really? Is that what we're doing? You can't be doing it. Even someone like me who hasn't put anything out, if I finally do put something out, I'm not going to go back into the archive and start doing flips of flipping independent truck logos and putting my kind of name or logo on it or doing flips of Coca-Cola or Pepsi and stuff. That's been done. It's boring. You have to kind of move with the times and create things new and fresh and interesting. The pants are quite cool, don't get me wrong, but this t-shirt is so dumb, so derivative. And also, if you're selling it to kids, what does, being, what does born cancelled mean? No kid out there is actually cancelled. There's really, there's very, I can't think of any um, kid out there who's saying the stuff that Nick Fuentes, Candace Owens, and all these flipping right wing blowhards are saying to get themselves cancelled and cry about it. You know what I mean? There's not, I can't think of an 18 year old Stephen Crowder. They don't exist for the most part. If anything, most of the kids that buy um, this brand, I'd imagine, pretty much left-leaning so cancel culture doesn't necessarily apply to them because you know you don't really see a lot of left-leaning liberal people getting canceled it's mostly people on the right wing so if that's the case who's the last Stephen Crowder that you've seen especially one of color not some crazy white dude in the middle of Ohio no I mean an actual black or brown kid or an Asian kid that's ascribing to some of those crazy ideas that those guys put out that right-wing grift I don't see it so the born cancel thing doesn't make sense and I'm sure there's something more you know um slight about it something more clued in that i'm not aware of that's a little bit more nuanced and whatnot but just reading from the from the outside being a, a, a fucking normal person who's just reading news online and trying to interpret what he sees saying born cancelled on a t-shirt in 2022 is just corny it's lame and it's not very interesting in the slightest in my opinion and like i said it's very disappointing considering how strong this first collaboration was this first collection with Stussy or not first but this collection that kind of caught my eye with Stussy was really impressive you got here a trench overcoat a blazer and a, su uh, a suit basically is it double breasted or is it quarter I'm not sure one or the other then you've got a sweatsuit um combination and they've done the good thing on a sweatsuit because it was one something that I always hated I've always hated elasticated cuffs on sweatpants if I ever put out sweatpants I'm never going to put out sweatpants with elasticated cuff never no sweatpants with zips no sweat camps with elasticated cuffs and never both it's always this sort of like straight cut that's always how sweatpants should be. Now, they could be baggier in the leg, or f slimmer in the leg, but they should never be elasticated. They should never have zips on them unless you're playing football or something. So they've got that. They've also got another hoodie in this kind of off-white um, kind of... Is that a hoodie? Or is that, a, or is that like a pile? Of, I think it's a hoodie. And they've got this nice long sleeve with tie-dye print on the elbows, which is really nice. And then they've got this T-shirt also that I think looks really cool with no Bexy in, written in this kind of nice, um, what do you call it, palm tree effect kind of font on it. So pretty decent collection there with Stussy. Then again, you go back to this stuff that's featured here on Hypebeast and it just looks absolutely pony. Really, really does. Even the pictures are not good. They've got, what's that? Is that an up crotch picture of a girl sitting down on, a pair, on some stairs? What is that? Is he about to pull out his Johnson? Is that like um? Is that like a CCTV of a sexual assault happening in real life? Like, what is that picture? That picture is absolutely nuts. It continues here. It says, after taking a break, Tremaine Emeroy and whatever else, um, the Novak Sin brand is back on the scene with Born Cancelled. They're relaunching the brand. The trio wanted to exhibit the exhibition of clothing to hold a higher message. Okay, let's see what the message is. Therefore, the collection challenges a notion of cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is nonsense bro don't give me your fucking political but just put out cool clothes man fuck all this shit anyway it says here specifically the trio makes statements about how counterculture can serve as a, another barrier of entry for those without resources oh okay cool so not only are we suffering under white supremacy not only are we living in a racist world not only are we living in a post-pandemic world not only are we living in a world where there's spiraling um, cost of fucking living and you know student debt and all this kind of nonsense we're also living in a world where there is cancel culture that affects young kids printing t-shirts that's not allowing them to print t-shirts because they don't have the resources to do it. Excuse me? Make that make sense. In this analysis, the collection seeks to exalt up-and-coming generations in their pursuit of endeavor. It says as follows. Born cancelled is a rebel yell. For every kid who has ever cancelled for one mistake, kicked out, stepped out of the picture. What kid gets cancelled in real life? A kid that beats up someone in the, in the school. A bully. 
somebody that calls somebody a name. What's the last time you've seen a kid get cancelled, like a child? Maybe a child having sex with a school teacher or something? They don't get cancelled. What is this nonsense? When's the last time you've seen a child get cancelled? Really? Maybe an adult that gets cancelled for somebody unearthing tweets of them when they were 16, which is clearly not cool. But when's the last time you've seen a child, somebody under 18, get cancelled? I can't think of it. This is an absolute nonsense. It continues. Coupled with this rebellious sentiment, the brand's relaunch took uh, takes a look at the DIY approach, brought the brand to fruition. Garments like the Vastage, whatever. Anyway, the prices are the one that's really going to make your head pop out of your flip, your eyes pop out of your head, sorry. Look at the Varsity jacket that I think is derivative and not really that impressive. £485.73. and Really weird how they rounded the numbers up. Okay, now, okay, because it's $555. And I guess it's been automatically converted to pounds based on my geolocation. But this jacket is horrendous. Just that little detail there where there's a little bit of the white popping through underneath that kind of, um, what do you call it, the waistband, whatever thing that's called, isn't nice. But I think this this Rasty Jacket personally is horrendous. There's too much going on here, from the flag to the cherub to the font to this racing card, like checkered print on the um, on the cuffs, on the waistband and the collar. Like, I don't like the, oh, what's it called? Oh, no, so what's it called, actually? Thing? Diamond quilted lining, genuine leather sleeves, wool and polyester blend fabric, classic fit, like, you could not get me to wear this ever. Like, what is that on the background? It's like a baby with a skull's head. Okay. What does it say? Already cancelled. Born cancelled. Born dead. Like, oh, this is horrendous. You know what it kind of looks like, kind of actually thinking about it? It looks kind of Virgil-y, isn't it? I wonder if Virgil designed this. It looks a little bit virgil if I'm not mistaken. R.I.P. the dead. But I'm not too sure if this might be virgil But I'm not going to put smart on his name. But yeah, the... The logo, I guess it is what it is. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't look that great, to be fair. It's very, very average. Not that good in, not that good in the slightest. And of course, for $550, you have to bring something a bit better, especially if you're kind of approaching human-made varsity jacket style. And who's going to wear this, man? A cancelled vest. Really? A vest. What's the vest going for? Two hundred dollars and one seventy six pounds. It's a vest that's got like a pile lining. Is that what do you call it? Pile? What do they call it? Sherpa lining on the inside with some badges on there. Um, you know, the front of it doesn't look too bad. The logo here on the front looks pretty cool. That actual font looks really nice. But that sunset, sunrise, fucking logo in the back, like no, thank you. No, thank you. Walking around with born cancel like that, rising up from your fucking ass. I'm okay for that, to be honest. Then you've got this uh, cancelled flannel that is reversible with a cancelled written in the hot like This is so old. This is so tired. That kind of Hollywood um, script. And then you're putting your own letters on there. Like, really tired. The best thing about this whole collection, for sure, are these uh, cancelled zipper cargos. These look really cool, to be fair in the black and the olive they're really nice but again 200 200 pounds for them probably not that worth it, especially when you consider other pants and what they go for from other established brands you've got this cancelled music tee that's awful this all over print is awful this cancelled with the x looks terrible it looks like something you'd buy from a project x flipping merch shop um this born cancelled you know with the music logo thing is garbage You'd be hard pressed to find anyone wearing this who hasn't been seeded or sent this for free. I can't f picture it. Even this, this stuff is probably better. And again, get rid of that print at the back. But this logo actually, which is a no vacancy in written in kind of like a newswire type thing with the line. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of Deadline, the, that old streetwear brand from back in the day that was founded by one of the old Supreme models. That kind of red line that kind of goes through with the no vacancy font written across is quite cool. And I really like the distress hoodie they've used, right? They've kind of, is it over dye, whatever that kind of technique is that you do where you kind of wash out with your shoulder. But this X thing that they got going on is horrible, horrendous. The whole thing is really, really bad. And again, it's a real, it's a real departure from the thing they did previously. So, hey, what could you do? You can't win everything. But personally, for me, not really something that I would kind of be on. Um, there's, of course, if I had, if I wanted to, and I had the um, bothering and I had the desire to go out and wear something 
with all this on there for sure this collection will definitely be the ones i definitely wear um especially that suit that suit is absolutely beautiful but the rest of it this new collection that they put together is really a waste of money to be honest i don't really see them selling any of this really anytime soon if people buy it fair play my my pick my key picks out of it is definitely the cargo pants the rest of it can kind of go missing for me mate not for me in the slightest um so yeah for me when it comes to no vacancy in born cancelled collection um it's a huge swing and a miss huge huge swing and a miss but again what do i know 